Okay, Jane, uh, it's another nice day out there right now, but tomorrow, meteorologist Greg Fields, who is working his fingers to the bone over at the Weather Center right now, says we may want to brace for another round of thunderstorms. In the past few weeks, we've seen heavy rain, winds, few funnel clouds, lots of hail, and knowing what to do in severe weather could be a matter of life or death. And our next guests have made a life out of battling storms and educating you. Joining me now in the studio, Bill and Corey Ford with DFW Bay Storm Warriors. Thanks for being here, you guys. Thank Appreciate you. this. So great you, to be here. You're just two of the members of the Storm Warrior family, and it is a family, right? Is it, from what I'm guessing, because I see more of them over there in the wings, right? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, this is actually my dad. He's the one that kind of pulled the team together and we've got a lot of people around us that are great team members and we storm chase together. You know, I, I know some uh, daughters and sons, you know, if they follow in the, uh, the dad's golfer's footsteps or something, you're in the storm warrior business. That seems a little different. Yes, actually growing up, I was terrified of storms. I didn't want anything to do with them. I stayed <laughs> away at all costs. But actually one day we had to leave our home because of severe weather coming through our area. My dad pulled me into the storm chasing vehicle and said, we got to go. And it was that day that he showed me radar and how to look at clouds. And I was hooked. And I found that the more aware I was, the more knowledgeable I was of the storms, the less fearful I was. Wow, that's really interesting. Uh, so that's how you got into that. Uh, we. Uh, you know, we live in the. We don't live right in the middle of Tornado Alley, but we're we're in. We're close. We're in that. Yeah, yeah we're we're close, Absolutely. close enough. Uh, and you do a lot of work uh, here, but you guys go all over the place, right? So we're in Tornado Alley and what we call Dixie Alley. We're really in about seven states, uh, from Arkansas, Mississippi, Kansas, Oklahoma. So we're really yeah. in that Bill, whole uh, region the there. Room. And so yes, we go wherever the storms are because we have a. A mission. Our mission is to first warn communities of severe weather and tornadoes. Our, our sec second part is to assist. So in the event there is a disaster, that we want to be there. So we're all trained to do search and rescue. We're all trained to provide basic medical. We carry AEDs in the truck. And a third part of our mission is really to uh, assist or restore communities. So we want to help restore the community to get back to wholeness. You guys uh, get, in, as, you, as you see some of the footage here, just get in some incredible footage. I don't know how I would react being that close. Uh, I'm glad you're doing it though. You're working on your own show too, Storm Warriors, and uh, you work with the Weather Channel? Well, we do uh, a lot of streaming to the Weather Channel, CNN, and also a lot of local media because that's how we warn communities is getting what we see on the ground out to the communities so they know what to expect. The footage that you see there is really from a storm up in Miss Mississippi where the Weather Channel and CNN all at one time were streaming exactly what we were seeing at, at that moment. And we're looking at, uh, at your team in front of a, uh, a great backdrop of clouds and so forth, and then your uh, vehicle also. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, in the vehicle, we have all the weather equipment so we can be safe. So we want to be safe first. So we have uh, satellite radar. We have other radar uh, material in, in the truck. We have. Uh, basic medical equipment in there, again, the AEDs and, and search and rescue equipment as well. Okay, and that's for you all. Uh, and by the way, we're expecting some severe weather tomorrow, and you say every family should have a go bag, right? You brought one with you. Tell us about it. Yes, this is our go bag. This is an example of one. And this is the bag that if there's severe weather coming to your area, you should be aware of it and you should grab your go bag and go to your safe place. So you need to all have a safe place in your home or maybe there's a church or a school nearby that you can go take shelter in and you grab your go bag. And in your go bag, you have necessities such as water, snacks, flashlight, you know, things that you would think you would need if you get displaced in weather. But you also have things like a storm radio. In case the power goes out, you need to have a form of communication. Other things like medical, a first aid kit is important, a backup battery for your phone that is charged. And this little thing right here is actually one of the most important things to be in your go bag. This is a little waterproof bag, in case rain gets into your go bag, to have cash or pictures of your family. Now the cash is important because when the electricity goes out, oftentimes you can't use your credit cards and so you need cash if you need to buy supplies to, for you, you and your family. And the picture of your family is very important as well because if a severe weather event comes through your home in your area, your family can be displaced. And yeah. if you're in need of search and rescue, it's important to have the picture of your family. All right, very good. We've got to bring in your newest member of the team. Uh, he's why she's whining over there right now. Oh, there she is. Look at her. Oh, what the, the cutest. Oh my gosh. Tell, tell us a little bit about 
uh, your dog and you need we need a name for her. We do need a name. So uh, this is a four month old German Shepherd that we uh, uh, brought into the team to be a part of the search and rescue team. And uh, the dog doesn't have a name yet. We've gone through a lot of names and bannered it around. And so we really need your help. We need the help of your audience to name uh, this puppy. The puppy will actually go through two years of training along with the handler to get it certified to, to do actual search and rescue and, events. And she'll be in the field with you all? She will be in the field with us on many occasions. Oh, what a great dog, oh my goodness. Do you have a, any name coming, you know, that you, you've heard here we today? Ha we have, straight well, line you, wins. You, yeah, Straight Line Wins was yeah. the first Everybody has today. three names yeah. these days. Right. So. Right, so yours was really good, but but I think there's better out there, so we're going to hope for uh, more names. <laughs> that was very politically correct, yes. All right, uh, thanks you all for being here, and good luck to everybody so and your new TV here. show. Thank and you. You can check out stormwarriors.tv for the Ford's uh, exciting new adventures. Storm season is approaching, and they're ready to shoot that pilot. You can also find links on how to help name their new German Shepherd puppy. Thanks, you all.